Hi everyone, it's Sylvia. How's everyone doing tonight? Uh, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So today we're going to do a unboxing uh, from Diamond Art Club that's called Rochelle by Hannah Lynn. Okay, and it comes in this beautiful box and it's a round diamond uh, because you can see the circle and it comes in a very shiny box. Always scan me to unlock for 10% off and in the back it always tells you how it works step by step and what's inside the kit. All right, let's open up this baby. So what do we know about Hannah Lynn? Well, Hannah is a self-taught artist and she's very talented, guys. And I believe she has like 54 paintings that she has at Diamond Art Club, uh, like Mona, City Girl, uh, Willow, and so on. And most of her paintings are very uplifting and in a positive way yep okay so let's see so we have the small sticker it comes with two stickers this is the small one this one you could actually put in your logbook all right and this is the toolkit i know that i don't have to rip it guys but i don't know why i do i just do anyway the toolkit is per is pretty cool guys because it always comes with a cover minder and you never know which one you're going to get and also uh the pen we don't know what color the pen is Okay, I already see that the magnet is it might be loose, but that's okay. Okay, so this one has a pink diamond pen, and it also has the pink uh, comfort grip. And it's supposed to go in here, guys, but I always have trouble putting it in. I don't know why, but I always do. But anyway, it's supposed to help with your hand, with your fingers, especially if you have arthritis. Okay, I think I said the resealable bags. It comes with, look how pretty, washi tape. That's the other thing. You don't, you never know which washi tape uh, design you're going to get, which is pretty cool. And I believe this is my little cover minder, but the magnet came off, but I can glue it. I have some powerful glue there. Okay. And it's a pink flower. And the cover minder uh, for the newbies, for the new people that are interested in doing diamond painting, is basically used for the plastic cover. So when you peel the plastic cover, so it doesn't keep coming down uh, while you're diamond painting. So you put uh, the cover minder with one magnet like this on the top and the other one goes underneath the painting and then they, they snap and it holds the plastic back. Okay. And it comes with a heart shaped container with wax, it comes with two placers. And I believe that one says a four and this one says a seven and then the tray. Okay. And this is a stopper and this prevents the drills from spilling out. All right, so this I'm gonna have to leave out, guys, because I need to fix that. Must have, must have had a rough traveling. Okay, and then of course, all the Diamond Art Club um, canvases come in a plastic bag. Uh, I guess it's to prevent the uh, canvas while it's traveling. And um, okay, and it always says Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. And I always say do what makes you happy. Why not, right? Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, let's put the plastic away for now. Let's put that over there, the canvas. Okay, so here's the big pa um, the big painting, the big sticker. All right, and it says Rochelle by Hannah Lynn, the start date, and then you write down the end date when you finish it. It comes with the pre-cut stickers, so put it in your containers. Uh, and also you can put this in your logbook. Okay. And then it comes with a thank you for your purchase, step-by-step -step instructions, tips and tricks. Let's put that aside. And then these are the drills, guys. So it always comes with a sticker, which is nice because uh, if you separate it like I do, you'll know that these belong to that beautiful painting. All right. And we're going to look at these drills later much later that's what my daughter used to say when she was a little girl much later mommy much later okay so and with this canvas guys it, um it might look like it's a little wrinkled but that's okay guys because this is made from heavy duty fabric and this fabric is uh, for extra strength and it helps to flatten it okay so when you leave the, the painting out for just a little while uh it'll flatten out okay i'm just gonna do this and we could do this with this canvas, which is pretty cool. 
voila oh my gosh look at the colors wow okay she's gorgeous guys this is clear hopefully it's not bothering anyone okay on the top it always says do what makes you sparkle Oop. do what makes you sparkle by diamond art club it always has two legends one legend is on the left hand side on the top and the other legend is on the bottom on the right hand side okay and then on the bottom it always has a picture and then it also says it's from DAC, which is Diamond Art Club, the name of the, uh, the painting, Rochelle. It's 17 inches by 26 inches, which is 42.6 centimeters by 65.9 centimeters. And the artist is Hannah Lynn, Diamond Art Club. And the middle always, take 10 for 10% 10 off your next order. You can find them on Facebook and Instagram. And then over here you have the lifetime warranty which is, has a 30-day 30, 30 money-back guarantee. It also has a free diamond spill insurance, and it has a 10% cashback rewards with every order, which is awesome, guys. Okay, so, and just before we start looking at uh, Rochelle, if you look at the legend, the legend comes in very handy, guys, because it tells you how many colors. So it's 51 colors, this painting, and I believe it has four, one, two, three, four ABs, and in the middle, it tells you the symbols, and the symbols is what's in the painting, and that's exactly where you're gonna put the drills, and these are the DMC codes, okay? Uh, okay, so let's look at this beautiful uh, mermaid, because she's a mermaid, and I believe I'm gonna do this one, I'm gonna work uh, with this one for the event, I think it's called Mermaids and Magic 2023, and it's uh, hosted by beautiful Randy and beautiful Shay. Okay, so, Let's see, what do we see guys? Well, first of all, look at the background. Look at that blue, blue, blue sky. Absolutely gorgeous. And you guys know I love blues, blues and grays. And look at, look at her hair, not grays, blues and greens. And look at her hair. It's got blues, it's got light blue. Actually it has two more, it has blue, light blue, light blue and a dark blue. And it's got greens and it's got purple, like pink. Oh wow, yeah. And then, what, okay, let's see, what is the mermaid doing? So it looks like the beautiful mermaid. She's got uh, green scales, right? Uh, and it looks like, well, it's like yellow lime, like green and a uh, yellow, not yellow, like a lime green and a green. And looks like she was swimming and she decided to, you know, I'm just gonna hang out for a bit on the rock. And she decided to sit down and just check out the lighthouse, check out to see what she sees out there. And she's just having a, a very nice time. Maybe she's just tired of swimming too. So she's just decided to hang out for a bit. And there's nothing wrong with that, right guys? So there you see the rock, look at her hands. Very, very well detailed, very nice. Love, love her hair. And you can tell it's very windy because her hair looks like it's, like it's moving, which I like. Okay, and I love her little uh, top. It's got pinks, purples in there. And then of course, let's not forget the beautiful lighthouse. And the lighthouse, as you can see, it's beaming. Okay, this beautiful light. So it's absolutely gorgeous, guys. I love it. And I love her big, big blue eyes and look at her rosy cheeks. Just, just very pretty, guys. Let me bring it up so you can see. It's very, very clear. Okay, so let's look at the sky. Hopefully I didn't do that too fast because if you do it too fast, it uh, doesn't focus. So there you go. And then her beautiful face and her eyes. And there goes the lighthouse beaming some light there. And then look at her hair. Look at that hair, guys. And then her little outfit. And then of course, it, oh, we forgot the tail. Look at the tail. Absolutely gorgeous. And then the rock. And then of course, her scales. And there's, of course, the water. We forgot to mention the, the water is glistening. I wonder if there's ABs there. All right, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look at that, she's got, a, I think that's a little belly button. <laughs> okay, so let's put this aside and we will bring out the drills, okay? All right, let's begin. Uh, 155 is blue, violet, medium, dark. Can you see it there? Let's move it there. Let's move this a little closer. So we can see the colors a little better. 301 mahogany medium. 304 red medium. And 310 is black and you have three packets. 
Okay. 317, very little. This one's pewter gray. 318 is steel gray light. 327 is violet dark. There's still, I think, one more here. Let's move this over here. It's in the way. Uh, 333 is blue violet, uh, very dark. Okay. 334 is baby blue medium. 336 is navy blue. 413 is pewter gray dark. 414 is steel gray dark. 550 is violet, very dark. 603 is cranberry. And 604 is cranberry light. And 605 is cranberry, very light. So you have three cranberries. 699 is green. 700 is green, bright. 718 is plum. 720 is orange spice dark. 721 is orange spice medium. Very little of that one. And 754 is peach light. 758 is terracotta very light. Oops. 775 is baby blue very light. 780 is topaz ultra very dark. 782 is topaz dark. And 783 is topaz medium. 792 is cornflower blue dark. This is pretty. 797 is royal blue. And 798 is delft blue dark. 803 is baby blue ultra very dark and this one you have three bags of 820 and this one is royal blue ultra dark lots of blues guys 890 is a uh, pistachio green ultra dark Do we have can we see it here yeah 898 is coffee brown ultra dark 900 is burnt orange dark 907 is parrot green light 938 is coffee brown ultra dark 939 is navy blue ultra dark and 951 is tawny light i think we can have one more here uh, what's the next one i think this is yeah 33 25 is baby blue light do we have space no all right so so far we have lots of blues and greens and cranberries okay Move these aside Thirty-three seventy-one is black brown uh 3607 is plum light 3746 is blue violet dark okay and then 3756 uh, uh i forgot to write that one down but it looks like it's a light 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 turquoise and 3814 is aquamarine that's very little of that one 3820 is straw dark and the last one is 3837 and that's a lavender ultra dark okay now let's bring out the ab's so we have four beautiful ab's so we have ab just means aurora borealis and it's a drill with an extra coating of uh shine okay so 101 is like a blue 134 ab is a green 136 looks like a blue violet 
and 141 is white. All right, so let's bring back the painting and let's see where these beautiful ABs go on the beautiful painting. All right, so let's begin with 101, which is the blue. Okay, this glare now. Okay, so that's going to be symbol one. So wherever you see symbol one in the painting. All right, I see it already. It's over here. There's ones here on the light uh, that the lighthouse is giving off. And of course, you have all over her hair. You have ones and you have more here on the sky. Oh, that's part of the light. It's all over her hair. Yep. Okay, there's none down here. All right. So, and you have some also on her eyeshadow, her blue eyeshadow, and some in her eyes. Okay. And then this is going to be symbol two, 134. And this one is on her hair also. It looks like it's going to be her hair, the highlights, the, um, the, the ABs so far. That's what I'm seeing. Let's see down here. And you have some here in the water, which is nice. Okay. And then, oh, you have some on her tail and some on her scales and yep okay let's see and then 136 is number three so wherever you see number three and that's going to be in the on the water oh my gosh that's going to be beautiful guys and you have some on the sky blue sky and the water let's see you have some on her hair wow yeah and then this one's going to be symbol the dot. So wherever you see the dot, and it's going to be, of course, let me move these out of the way. Here, the light from the lighthouse. You have some on the lighthouse. You have some over here. Uh, let's see down here. And of course, all the dots, all the white that you see on her scales. And I think that's about it, guys. And then you have some over here, but that, that's part of our scales. Wow. That's going to be amazing, guys. If you could add more ABs or sparklers or crystals, where would you add them? Hmm? So tomorrow, guys, I'm going to either tomorrow, not tomorrow, tomorrow's Wednesday. Tomorrow, this will come out Thursday or Friday. I'm sorry. Thursday or Friday, I will do the kidding up. Okay. So, yeah. So I absolutely love it, but who doesn't love Hannah Lynn, right? I mean, all her paintings are just so colorful, so vivid, just so beautiful. Anyway, so thank you very much. I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful rest of the night. And thank you and bye-bye.